Hi everyone, John with PT, Dan with Sandler Training. Hello. Let's stop talking. All right. Okay. So, no. One, one of the big problems we see in salespeople is you can't get them to stop talking. <laughs> um, one, it's always easier and more comfortable to be talking in the sales role mm -hmm. than asking tough questions that make other people uncomfortable. True. Okay. Two is they give you a nugget and you take the off ramp. In our world, somebody might say, yeah, we'd love to see more people participate in the 401k. Well, let me tell you about all the wonderful ways we can help you do that, rather than cataloging that and asking your next question, those kinds of things. But why is it so hard to get salespeople to stop talking and just ask great, insightful questions? <laughs> I don't know, except to say it happens all the time. No, I, I mean, I do know. <laughs> Number one, as children, I know, I hate to say this, but when we were children, when we were told by authority figures, answer when I ask a question to you. Could you imagine your elementary teacher saying, what letter comes after B? And you know the answer and you're like, well, why are you asking me that question, right? It just doesn't fit, right? So we tell yes. the answer. So that's the first thing is we've been programmed since childhood to answer questions. Yeah. The second thing is, and this is probably the more deadly one, is we try to bowl people over with our greatness and yep. our expertise. So if they say, you know, how does your plan better than the one we have? Oh, let me show you my 80,000 PowerPoint slide presentation yeah. on how that does that. And, and I, I think what we need to say is there's a time and a place for that. It's yeah. not right now. So rule of thumb, at the beginning of the sales process, the prospect should be talking about 70% of the time, the salesperson about 30. As you progress through the sales process and you get to the end where it's presentation time, now I talk about 70 and the sales per and the buyer talks about 30. So yeah. it, it swaps. But ask questions, then present. Don't present too early. Yeah, and it's such a hard dynamic. What you describe, younger salespeople tend to fall in that trap when you be liked. Older, more veteran salespeople with a lot of experience want to bestow wisdom. And it's hard for them not to. And so it, it, it's just a, an odd dynamic to me that we all know going in 70-30 and it rarely plays out consistently that way for a lot of salespeople. So let's pretend a buyer says to you, hey John, I, I want to get more leads, right? I want to meet with more people. How do you guys do that? So yeah. the, 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 the amateur salesperson would go, well, here's how we do it. Here's what we do. The, the expert salesperson would go, well, tell me why you need more leads. Yes. Tell me why you even want to meet more. Why do you need more business? Your business is doing well now. What's really going on? And then you hear things like, well, I want to retire and I need to have as much money in the bank as possible for that to, to be able to sell. Or you hear other things. Who knows what the answer is? That's the pain. It's not that they need to be in front of more people. Yeah, the average salesperson just simplifies it to, okay, well, you need more leads up top because you need more sales at the bottom. Yeah. I get it. You want more sales, so you need more leads. And they don't go to the depths of, why? Why? <laughs> there we exactly. go. Yeah, there we go. All right, everybody. See you again tomorrow. Take care.